everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogist Day 5. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorites for the month of July and I'm going to be following the categories that my friend Livy from Exo Livy and Amber from The Sensible Mama both did for the month of June. The categories for favorites are a bag favorite, food favorite, clothing favorite, jewelry favorite, kids favorite, kids item favorite, beauty item favorite, and a favorite Bible verse for that month. So I'm going to start with bag. I went back and forth on this a lot. I really, really, really wanted to mention my Logan and Lenora carry-all tote in Palmtastic, but since I only got that at like the very end of July, I didn't think that it was fair to count it. And I've only used it a few times, although I absolutely love it. I can't say that it's been like my monthly favorite bag. But I do have a different type of bag that I want to share. This item I purchased after Livy from XO Livy recommended in one of her videos. This is a BUM, B-U-B-M, travel organizer. I got mine in the blue color that has like almost like a metallic finish. This is a travel tech organizer. So it has two sections. The top opens like this. And then I use the bottom section to store my camera and my laptop charger. Um, and especially for doing Vlogist, and then I was at camp for a couple of days, it was so nice to have all of my stuff organized. So my camera fits perfectly right here, and then the lens that I'm using right now fits over here. And I just, this is awesome, I think it was 20 bucks on Amazon, and so I will leave a link down for this below. For my food and beverage favorite, I went back and forth on what I wanted to mention. I ended up wanting to talk about the peanut butter chewy dips granola bar. I know that these are not healthy by any means, and they are riddled with all kinds of sugar and other terrible things, I'm sure. But they're delicious, they're my guilty pleasure, and I eat these as like a sweet treat. I eat them as a snack. I absolutely love these. For my clothing item, it's definitely the shirt that I'm wearing right now. I got it from Joanne Fabrics and it says, so happy. I figured it's fitting since I do love to sew and I love the way the shirt fits. It has like a long tail in the back so that it kind of like works with leggings and stuff. Mine is in a size extra large, I think. I do like my shirts to fit a little bit looser and I have a pretty large chest, so it fits me really well. And I think it was only like 10 bucks. So I'm probably gonna go back to Joanne because they had a bunch of other ones that had like cute little sewing sayings. So I really, really like this shirt and it's I've been wearing it a lot this month. My favorite jewelry item is probably the necklace that I'm wearing now. Um, my husband got this for me, I think two years ago and I wear it pretty much every day. I do take it off occasionally. It has my birthstone. I think he got it from a website called Wish, which is kind of like Amazon's overstock, kind of. The gemstone actually is anchored at the top and then it can move at the bottom so it almost like shimmers. It's really pretty and I love it. And like I said, it's my birthstone, so this is special and I love this necklace. I love that it's fancy enough that I can wear it as like a fancy necklace, <laughs> but I also love that it is like casual and small and dainty enough that I can wear it for every day. So I love this necklace and I pretty much never take it off. I have three different things that I want to mention for the kids item favorite. The first is just a little sleeper that I bought at Walmart for Rhea the other day. She's growing out of these like crazy, this is in the brand, Granimals and I got it in three to six months. They're just cute little sleepers. This is like a good weight. It's not super thin, but it's also not super thick. It has the little feet and I think this was $4.94. And I picked up a few of these just because even though Melody had a bunch of like sleepers for us to use for Rhea, a bunch of them were stained and kind of gross and then I just feel like Rhea lives in these. So I definitely wanted to get a few more and I really like these. Another item is also from Amazon. This is like a make your own teething necklace or teething pacifier clip. So this is the one that I made for Rhea. The kit comes with a few different of the pacifier clips uh, and the cord and then a bunch of these silicone beads so that you can make a pacifier clip. I was going to buy one, but for like 14 or 15 bucks I thought that was kind of expensive. And this entire kit I think was $15 or so, I will link it down below. But you're, I have plenty of beads that I can make several more clips, so I thought that was really cool. The last kids item favorite that I want to mention is this little cosmetics makeup kit that I got from Melody. It is adorable, so it's just a little kit of pretend makeup. And I was really impressed with the quality of the items. So this is what Melody showed in her what's in my backpack video, which I will link in case you guys are interested. But it basically just comes with like pretend makeup. And what I love and what I wasn't expecting is that I knew it was pretend makeup, but it actually has like a little bit of a texture to it. Like it feels 
like a sponge kind of like it's definitely dry and there's no product there but I just was expecting it to be like a plastic pan but it actually has some texture which I think is really cool and then it comes with like a little compact and like a little powder puff and some brushes and so I thought this was really cute and Melody really likes playing with it it has like a little glitter pot a little blush and then it came with makeup brushes and a little powder puff and a little like lipstick it does have the actual like roller tip which is really cool so this was again from Amazon. I will link everything that I can find down below. And she loves it and plays with it all the time. So for my beauty item, I didn't know what to mention because I haven't actually been trying out a ton of makeup. And then I remembered that I got this gel nail kit from Walmart a few weeks ago and I've actually been using it quite a bit. My nails are disgusting and terrible and I have a terrible habit of picking my nails and never letting them grow out. So right now you can see this is what my nails look like. I just did them today. Um, and this is from the gel nail kit that I bought. The kit that I bought is Sensational. I bought this from Walmart, so it comes with like a little LED lamp and it came with a few different nail colors. And then what I ended up doing was buying another nail kit off of Amazon with like some more colors and a different base and top coat. The process sounds tedious, but when you actually get done with it and you realize that your nails are completely dry, it is totally the way to go. So basically you have to do a base coat and then you let it cure for about 30 seconds underneath the lamp. You do your color coat let it cure under the lamp, another color coat, let it cure under the lamp, and then you do a top coat and let it cure under the lamp for another 30 seconds. So it seems really tedious, except that when you're done with the top coat and you let it cure, that's it. They are completely dry, they do not chip, they do not wear. Gel nails are supposed to last for two weeks. On me, it lasts about five or six days, but it, it's a full five or six days that I get with being able to use my nails any way that I want, use them to scrape stuff off my stove top or whatever I need to do, and they literally still look like this five or six days later. There is not a single nail polish I've tried that have lasted even like 24 hours on me, no matter how meticulously I prep my nails and apply several coats and put a top coat on and let it dry for a full hour even, like within hours, my nails chip. So I love having my nails painted, I just hate going through the process of getting them there especially when they just chip right after. So this has kind of been the answer for me. Again, it sounds tedious and time consuming, but I did my entire nails in about 15 minutes today and then they're done. Like they're completely dry. You don't have to fuss with them. You don't have to let them dry any longer. Once they've cured under the lamp, it's perfect. Love this. And I'm pretty sure the, the kit that I bought was like $23 or something, very reasonable. Totally recommend it if you want to be able to do your nails at home and have it last. So the last category on the list is your favorite Bible verse or quote. My favorite verse probably of all time is John 10, 10. It is the scripture that I have a portion of tattooed on my arm over here. The full verse is, the thief has come to steal and kill and destroy, but I came that you may have life and have it abundantly. And that verse for me signifies so many things that are important to my faith. First of all, that there is a devil and that there is a God, meaning that there is an evil and there is good and that there is an absolute truth. And that's a good reminder for me. Second of all, that although there is a thief, there is a God. There is somebody who has come to redeem us and to save us. And ultimately he wants what's best for us. And all of that combined just are good encouragers for me and are good reminders for me as a Christian. What I have tattooed is have life and have it abundantly, which is kind of like the takeaway for me from that verse. And I just, yeah, I find a lot of comfort in that verse. I have two other items that I wanted to mention as favorites that don't necessarily fit into any of the categories listed. The first is kind of random, but has come in handy for these for last few days. This is a little tripod that I bought off of Amazon, and I think it was like $11. The tripod looks like this, and if you put all of the legs together, it is a nice little like handhold for your camera. And then it has a docking station here for your camera where you can thread it onto the screw. But then it also has this attachment so you could use your phone if you want and set that up as a tripod, which is really handy. And then over here you can adjust how you want it tipped, if you want to tip it at all or if you want to like have it aimed down. But I just think like for $11 this was such a good purchase. It's pretty lightweight but it's still like I said is very sturdy and it holds my camera even with the big old lens. I don't know that you'd want to put like a massive DSL car DSLR camera on here but I think you would get away with pretty much any other standard camera even like the um, Sony NEX 5T which I'm using right now. And yeah, for 11 or 12 bucks or whatever, this was totally worth it. So the last item is my Pen Gem Pen from The Sensible Mama. 
This pen has been amazing. And granted, I've only had this pen for a few days, so it's not really like a favorite that I've been using all month. But it is a gorgeous pen and it writes so well. It is such a smooth pen. It has a nice weight to it. Um, mine is in the pink and gold. It's so pretty. And then you can see there, the Sensible Mama is engraved in gold lettering on the side. Hopefully you can see that on the barrel. It's a gorgeous pen and I absolutely love it. And I'll probably have to get another. That's everything I have for my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogist Day 6.